Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve a recurrence relation. So the equation is a sub n equals a sub n minus 1. And this is valid for n greater than or equal to 1. And we have an initial condition of a sub 0 equals 2. So these come about uh, for various reasons in, in mathematics. You know, counting is one example of where you might see recurrence relations. You have a counting problem and you can model it with a recurrence relation and then you solve that relation and basically you solve the counting problem using these techniques. Let's go ahead and work through this one and we're gonna use something called backtracking, so solution. So how backtracking works is you basically use your equation and you keep using it uh, over and over. So a sub n is equal to a sub n minus one. Okay, so now we have to use it again, right? So what does that mean? So we go back up here, right? And then we just replace the n with the n minus one. Okay, so this will be, so I'm gonna do it here so you see it. a sub n minus one equals a sub n minus one minus one, right? So you just replace it, right? So this is a sub n minus two. So it's the first piece, so I figured I'd show the step. You could do it in your head, right? n minus one minus one is n minus two, done. But there you see it. So then this is going to be a sub n minus two. Then you backtrack again, right? So replace n with n minus two, that will be n minus two minus one, so that's n minus three. So this is a sub n minus three. And then you do it again, let's do it one more time for fun. <laughs> so you do n minus three, so n minus three minus one is n minus four. And so when do you stop? Never, no, I'm kidding. You stop uh, whenever you feel like you found a pattern. It looks like the pattern is just one, two, three, four. But that still doesn't tell us when to stop, right? So if you look at your initial condition, a sub zero equals two, you want this to be zero. So that's gonna happen when this four is actually an n, right? So this is equal to dot, 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 equal to a sub n minus n, right? That's as far as we can go. And this is equal to a sub zero, which is just equal to two. And so that's it, right? A sub n is equal to two. That would be the answer to the problem, right? To the recurrence relation. If you're watching this video uh, and it's been helpful, please leave a comment below. I hope this video has helped someone out there in the world. Until next time, take care.